Hey guys, Mangrel here, and we just purchased our first 3D printer. This is the Ender 3 Pro, and even though there is now an Ender 3 version 2, we were able to pick this up on Amazon for a huge discount because it is the older model. Let's open it up and see what we have. All right, so we got the Endo 3 Pro assembled. It wasn't uh, very difficult to assemble. It took probably about an hour to get this thing put together. And we've already printed uh, two prints on this printer. Everything went uh, fairly well with the prints. And even after printing all this, we still had this much filament remaining from what came with the Creality. So it looks like you can get two a decent prints in before having to buy your own. So it looks like the Ender 3 hasn't really changed much from the initial versions. The only difference I see here is we have this metal insert in the extruder assembly. So this ensures that we don't uh, wear this piece out. Additionally, they've added in these little brackets here, which ensure that this does not move. And this was something that most folks did print out themselves. So we have that. And the last difference that I see here is we now get a silicone sock on the hot end. So my Ender 3 Pro came with the version 1.1.4 motherboard and folks online said that this motherboard has the new TMC drivers which are way quieter. So I decided to take one of the heat sinks off and it looks like I've got just the regular driver. The I can't even read that, A4988 driver. So if you do get this motherboard, don't assume that you've got the new drivers. All right guys, make sure to like, subscribe and comment. We're gonna create a small playlist or a series on this 3D printer. We're gonna take it from its current form to ultimately being able to print TPU, which is the flexible material that we all use for our drones and quadcopters. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Qualified certificate. What am I qualified for?